I'm basically a sporty person. Sports helps to keep me mentally and physically fit. Basically, I'll be taking my A-level soon, so I'm trying to find out more about different careers. As you all know, buildings are everywhere and there are many mega structures and skyscrapers out there in the world. And I'm very curious about how the job and work of a CNS engineer right, directly relates to the construction of the building itself. I like to play computer games, but not those simple minor games. I prefer games which requires uh, thinking and you also need to use different strategies to defeat your opponent. After I graduate from my secondary school, I've been thinking what kind of occupation suit me the most. I want to do something to contribute back to the society. And one of the jobs I think is suitable will be engineer. Hello, I'm Rong Hui. Hello, I'm Jordan. What are we doing here today? We're here to look for a CNS engineer to do what he does every day. And so, what are you waiting for? Well, let's go! Hi, I'm Yi Sing. Uh, we are here to find out more about civil and structural engineering. So basically, what does a CNS engineer do? We provide engineering design to building structures, the bones of the structure. You can, sh you can actually compare civil and structural engineering design to uh, like the bones in a human being supporting your body. We actually design and build the bones based on your needs. Our jobs is to ensure that the building is safe and can stand hundreds of years. So out oh, of so many other engineers, right? why do you choose to take uh, civil structure? Uh, for me, I find myself more inclined towards uh, static physics, something that I can visually calculate and build. You have to find out what is your interest. You have to be mathematically inclined because in all engineering, you must be good in your maths. You have to be very meticulous in your design. You must be a problem solver at heart. Because the, the job of an engineer is to resolve other people's problems. But must you be good at drawing? Because I see some drawings here. You must actually be uh, very good in uh, visualizing 3D. Because the clients, they may give you a building plan of uh, telling you what they want. So you must be able to uh, plan for your clients what are the construction methods and also what are the materials suitable for his job. For example, if this is a warehouse, you may have to design stronger beams, stronger columns. Or if it's a commercial building that uh, uh, requires it to be completed within a short amount of time, you have to uh, maybe propose something like a steel structure. I heard that the market is quite small and limited for this area, for this field. Before I actually enrolled myself into uh, civil and structural engineering, I have been hearing that uh, this is a sunset industry. But until today, I have been very busy the moment I stepped into uh, this line. Yeah, so it has, it has never stopped. La. Building has been torn down, building has been rebuilt, land has been reclaimed. Uh, we have gone deeper into underground. We have done more MRTs. We have built casinos. So, there will be plenty of things to build. Beyond Singapore, you can also look forward to overseas opportunities in places such as Middle East, China and India. CNS engineers from Singapore are highly sought after in developing countries for their technical expertise and efficiency. Your experience and knowledge is universal and can be applied in any part of the world. Or maybe I can bring you to some of my sites to take a look at the uh, construction work. Let's go. This is a uh, tree block of uh, condominium development, which we are the uh, professional engineers. Currently, the site uh, 
We have almost finished the foundation work and right now they are getting ready for the pillars, the columns to go up. So very soon you will be seeing superstructure going up here. Normally, when people mention a civil and structural engineer, they got the impression that the engineer come down to the site itself and wear helmet and with yellow boots. Then it's like under a hot sun sweating. So how often you come down to the site to, or you stay at for the whole day? Uh, it depends. If you are a site engineer, you, you have to supervise the work, the structural works on site. So definitely you have to be here and there will be sun. But if you are an outdoor person and you like the sun, why not? But for a consultant, a CNS engineer, you have to make inspections to the work site uh, maybe once or twice every week. I heard that you're CNS engineer, you need to climb cranes, right? Is that true? That is not true. Lah. The CNS engineer don't climb the tower crane. The crane operator climb the tower crane. Now that I know that the job of a CNS engineer, right, they are actually the ones who are down there to supervise the work, making sure that everything is going in order. And I think that they have a very huge responsibility and it's really very different from what I expected in the past. As a CNS professional engineer, you have to exercise due diligence. Meaning, at the first step of uh, designing, you have to really be very careful in your engineering design and also to evaluate the site situation so that the first step is your design is proper and correct. And the second thing is always make more site inspection, more supervision. I see some white hair on your hair, so is it the stress level very high? while managing the project? The, the stress level is high because of the, the degree of responsibility is very high. CNS engineer who designs the structure, you are uh, responsible for the safety of uh, all the building occupants. So you're responsible for the building for a lifetime? Uh? Yes, for life. As, uh, as long as you life. chop it? Uh? As long as you are alive. Uh. Civil and structural engineers, when they build something, they did not ask for much recognition. Like for example, if you cross a bridge, you take it for granted that this is just a simple structure for me to cross the road safely. You never think the effort the civil and structural engineers put in when they build this bridge. I learned to appreciate more of the buildings that I see, especially the buildings that I live in, because it is the hard work of the civil and structural engineers. Since the responsibility for certifying the project that is safe is very high, so why do you want to put yourself in such huge responsibility? I think somebody still has to do the job, right? Uh, imagine that uh, you have worked hard and uh, to own a home. Uh, you will want your house to be designed safely, strongly, so that uh, when you, at night you go back to your home, uh, your families can be safe and sound. And, uh, this degree of responsibility has to be undertaken by someone. A professional engineer can fill this gap and ensures that the, the buildings are safe. For me personally, I enjoy designing and I can see my concept and my work uh, slowly being built and slowly grow. And you can see from time to time that uh, your thing works. As the building progresses, becoming higher and higher, you can see that all your calculations all your estimations and all that you have uh, prepared well, uh, uh, the thing is working very well. As a CNS engineer, you will be exposed to uh, so many different uh, situations. It, it will never be boring, uh, you will never be doing the same thing. I will show you one of our projects in Novena. This uh, building is built on an MRT station. As a CNS engineer, you get to uh, learn and experience many different types of construction. It is a career that gets sweeter as you become older.